uh, welcome to DB Workshop channel. Uh, today we will see uh, how to write a simple C program. First of all, we just name the file. Uh, File.c. Then press I. Right, include std sh. Name. And starting bracket and then bracket. There a variable. So if we want to print these numbers, one, two, three, four, five, uh, we could start a loop for i equal to one. It's I plus plus and then print. Percentage percentage D is a placeholder for the integer value. So for example, if I want one to eight I just Pass the i value and uh, its a numeric equivalent will be print, printed here. And compile the program. If you want to write, if you want to print this matrix, And how we'll do it. So for this, I require two loops. Okay, let me explain how we uh, printed these values. Uh, 
what happened that uh, first of all i started uh, u for i and uh, so for example in first iteration i is started with a one so that means i would be one for this line i is one and then for this line i is two for this line i is three and for i is one i started a one more loop and for this j is equal to one and then j equal to two and j equal to three so for for i loop it will run three times and for each i j will run for three times so this will print this matrix and uh, for i i'm just writing this lesson this lesson is just a new line vector if i don't write it it won't everything will be printed in a single line So let me explain here what we have done. Uh, for example, for i, i have a value one, two, three. That's it. And for j, I have a value one, two, and three. So for i equal to one, I just run the j three times, one, two, three. And for i equal to two, I run the j one, two, and three. For i equal to three i run the j for three times one two three so for example for this situation for see this is the outer loop i equal to one and this is i equal to two and i equal to three this is outer loop and for every value of i i have a loop for j so j is iterated three times and for i equal to two g also run for three times for i equal to three g also run for three times so every value of i there is loop for j that's why this is for loop for i and inside that loop i have a loop for j and for for every i equal to one two three i have a loop for j j equal to one two three and then i get the value of i and j so what will happen that for i equal to one j will run for three times so that is it i equal to one j will run for three times one two three so for i equal to one j will run for three times and it will print i j so for example i is equal to one and then was j equal to one two and three so if i write value of i in the beginning of it it becomes one 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 two one three and for i equal to two so j have a value one two and three so for because now i is two so i write i first then it becomes 21 22 23 for i equal to 3 j have a value 1 2 and 3 so it becomes 3 3 2 3 3 because i am printing i before j so everything will be printed in single line so it will output something like this if we want to print in this fashion right so we have to print a new line character we have to print a new line character so i want to do a new line character here and then i will want to do a new line character here so now this will print it this will be finally printed so this new line is after j completes it iteration so uh, I don't need a new line here. I need a new line once J is completed. 
So what I will do. Print new line. So once J is completed, I will print a new line here. So to print a new line, we have a command printf lesson. So let's see the program again. So what happened? Let's compare. For i one to three, that means less than four. For i one to three, I'm running the loop for j and j is one to three and print i j and then print new line. So this will print the required pattern. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you very much.